So you've installed iOS 26 on your iPhone and you're probably thinking, right, this looks shiny, it looks different, but what do I actually do with it? Well, don't to worry because I've been running the developer beta on my 14 Pro Max, yes, my actual main device, because clearly I enjoy chaos. And after many months testing, I've pulled together 10 tips and tricks that'll help you make the most of Apple's latest update. Some of these are quality of life game changers, others are hidden gems you might not stumble on immediately, and a few of these are just downright fun. The important thing is, whether you're rocking the newest iPhone 17 Pro Max or still hang on to an older iPhone 11, there's something here for everyone that can genuinely make a difference. So grab your iPhone because we're about to explore what iOS 26 really has to offer. Let's dive in. Tip number one, make the most of liquid glass. This is the headline change in iOS 26 and you cannot miss it. Apple calls a new translucent material that reflects and refracts its surroundings, bringing greater focus to content and delivering a new level of vitality across controls, navigation, app icons, widgets and more. That's a lot of marketing waffle, but basically everything looks like it's made of futuristic glass. Buttons, menu, icons, they all shimmer, shift and react to light as you move your phone. Honestly, it feels like Apple has been binge watching Vision OS demos and thought, yeah, let's just bring all of that over. And while I know it looks very different and you may initially have a negative reaction to the redesign once you download it, I think it will ground people. I certainly was a fan of the design overall since day one. Now, some have complained about the visibility of text and while you can't disable liquid glass completely, Apple will never give you that much control, you can tweak it. Head into settings, then accessibility, then display and text size, and you'll find an option to boost contrast, reduce transparency, and make icons more legible if the whole look feels a little too much. Personally, I like it, it makes iOS feel fresh in a way it hasn't since iOS 7, but yeah, sometimes the clarity could be better, and so I wouldn't be surprised if Apple continues to fine tune things. Tip number two, master the new lock screen. Apple hasn't overhauled the lock screen massively, but there are clever little touches. The clock now automatically adapts to fill empty space, so if you have notifications pushed down, the time looks bold and more dynamic, and supported songs can now show full screen animated album art while you're listening. It's a small thing, but again, it makes your phone feel fresh. Oh, and yes, the icons are ever so slightly rounded, though don't panic, they're still square cores, not circles. And I would recommend you try the new clear icons because they look great in my opinion. Tip number three, swipe back from the bottom. This one is huge. If like me, you're rocking a Pro Max sized iPhone. No more awkward hand gymnastics trying to reach the top corner of the device to go back. You can now swipe from the bottom edge in a lot of applications to navigate backwards. It sounds tiny, but once you get used to it, it's a total game changer. Tip number four, use call screening. We all get those spam calls. Hello, sir, this is Amazon Prime Security. Give us all your details now, I'm totally legit. Well, with iOS 26, you can finally deal with that without actually answering. Call screening once enabled does ask the unknown caller for their name and why they're calling. You then get a little transcript on screen. If it's legit, you can pick up. If it's a scammer, just ignore and carry on with your day. So yeah, this again is gonna come in handy every single day. And it's opt-in by the way, so don't forget to enable it in phone settings. Tip number five, save yourself with hold assist. This one again will be a game changer for many. If you're ever stuck waiting on hold listening to terrible jazz music, you can now hand it off to your iPhone. Hold assist stays on the line for you, listens for when a real person picks up and then pings you to rejoin. I haven't had the opportunity to use this just yet, but this undoubtedly will come in handy in the future. Thank you, Apple, genuinely. Now, quick pause before we move on. If you're finding this useful, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It's completely free and it helps the channel out massively. And it means you'll never miss out any iOS breakdowns, iPhone 17 coverage, and plenty more Apple content. So go on, join the Saran Bike gang now. Right, back to the tips and tricks. Tip number six, supercharge your messages. This is where iOS 26 quietly packs in loads of upgrades. First, backgrounds. You can now set a wallpaper for any conversation and the person on the other side will see it too. It's kind of similar to Instagram DMs in that way. You can use Apple's curated options or throw in one of your own photos and if you hate it, you can disable in settings. Polls are also another big one. In group chats, you can finally create a poll to decide what to eat, what film to watch, or which poll soul is driving. Apple intelligence using the power of AI can even suggest a poll if it detects that you're debating something. Wow, what bleeding edge technology right there. There's more. Apple Cash now works in group chats, so you can send and request money without leaving the threads. Typing indicators now show for multiple people in group chats that I can't believe wasn't already a thing, but thank you Apple for adding it. There's also a new add contact button to quickly save numbers straight from chats. 
and a new select option when you long press messages so you can now highlight just part of a text instead of copying the whole bubble and you can finally filter out unknown callers more aggressively. By the way you can also filter unknown senders in the phone app which is handy. All of this makes messages feel much more modern and competitive with WhatsApp and Telegram. Tip number seven, take advantage of visual intelligence. Now this one depends on your iPhone model. If you're on the iPhone 15 Pro or newer, you get Apple's visual intelligence system. Take a screenshot of something like a gig post and iOS will suggest adding the date to your calendar or finding tickets online. It's not full blown AI Siri just yet. Apple glossed over that pick as well, it's not ready yet, but this is kind of an in-between option. Sadly, my 14 Pro Max doesn't support this. Tip number eight, explore Apple Music's auto mix. For Apple Music users, the old crossfade is gone, replaced with auto mix. It works like an actual DJ, blending songs together seamlessly instead of just cutting between them. Combine that with live lyric translation, which can even help with pronunciation. And Apple Music certainly has a compelling feature set now. Now I'm kind of stuck on Spotify because I share a family plan and my family prefer Spotify. But if you're in Apple Music, this is undoubtedly worth trying. Tip number nine, get more from wallets and preview. The wallet app is smarter than ever. Loyalty points are now tracked automatically. Boarding passes include detailed AirPods maps. And now in the US, you can even use a digital passport. Over here in the UK, we're still waiting for Apple Cash and Apple Cards, but at least order receipts now sync in with mail. On top of that, iOS 26 finally brings the Max Preview app to the iPhone. You can mark up PDFs, edit images and sign documents without needing a third party application. Honestly, that will come in very handy and I'm wondering why it took Apple so long to add this. Tip number 10, use adaptive low power modes. Apple's always had low power mode, but iOS 26 introduces something smarter. Adaptive power mode makes real time performance adjustments to save battery life before you're in crisis modes. It can dim the screen slightly, let some background activities take a little longer and automatically flip low power mode on at 20%. It's like a personal battery manager. The bad news, you guessed it, it's only available on the iPhone 15 Pro and newer. My 14 Pro Max unfortunately has been abandoned once again. And here's a cheeky bonus tip, check out the new games app. It's hard for all your iOS games, Apple Arcade titles and Game Center stats. Now, do you need it? Probably not, it does kind of feel redundant since you can still access everything normally. But hey, if you take your iPhone Candy Crush Championship ranking very seriously, maybe you'll enjoy this. Apple's also simplified the camera application, so it's much less cluttered. And again, it doesn't make a difference day to day. So those are my top 10 tips and tricks for iOS 26, plus a few bonuses. Some of these are big upgrades at core screening, others are small tweaks at conversational backgrounds, but together they make iOS 26 feel like a real step forward. For me, Liquid Glass is undoubtedly the showstopper. It just makes the whole OS feel new again after years of minimal design changes. Sure, Apple's behind in the AI race, and yes, some of the cooler features are locked behind the newest iPhones, but even on older devices, there's still plenty to enjoy. Anyway, that's my roundup. Let me know in the comments which of these tips you actually use, and if you found any hidden tricks of your own. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, and of course, subscribe for more deep dives on iOS 26, the iPhone 17 series, and all the weird and wonderful things Apple's plan next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.